What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage. We are back again with the Tamiya BT-01 Toyota Supra. And like I said in the last video, when I picked this thing up, we got some things that we gotta do to it. There are some modifications that I want to do. First and foremost, as you guys can see, first thing I did was I put some wheels on it, which look close enough to the wheels that my godfather used to have on his Supra. So the wheels that he had on his Supra were called Pio Rosas. I'll put a picture here for it so you can see it. And these are the ones that I was able to find that look closest to the wheels that he had on his Supra. So if you guys take a look here, you guys can see that these wheels look the closest to what he had on his Supra. Now, as you guys just saw also, the second thing that I did, I'll bring it back to you. The second thing what I did was I put some disc brakes onto this guy because for one, it actually helped out with the slop of the spacing actually that the wheel had that it was kind of moving in and out. So that actually fixed that. Uh, the other thing that I ended up doing to it, of course, I finally cut the post down. I was waiting for these wheels and tires to come in so I could adjust the height perfectly of this guy so I can cut the posts. And I ended up doing that. The other thing that I did, check that out, you guys. We have a rear exhaust on it. So I ended up putting an exhaust on the back of it and... I think it came out pretty dang good with the exhaust back there. I mean, check that out. It looks pretty dang good. I think it does at least. There's another thing that I ended up doing to it, which I think it's gonna help with all the bounciness that this guy has out of box. So let's take the body off and check it out. As you guys can see, I hope you guys noticed it as soon as I took the body off something here on the front the suspension so the springs that come with this body with this chassis the bt01 are these right here and they are just super 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 soft which causes this guy to just bounce around as it's driving and it looks absolutely horrible here's a clip of it you'll see it So that just looks absolutely horrible as you guys can see and what I ended up doing was I had these springs from these shocks that right here so I had those springs that were on these shocks that I threw on here and it actually looks better <laughs> it actually looks better I mean it's not as you guys can see it doesn't have that it's not as soft. These springs are not as soft as a stock one. So I do think that these springs are going to help it. it. If it is too hard, I'm looking at getting first shocks for this thing anyway. But I still think that these might end up being a little bit too hard. It might not. I might be wrong. But I think this is going to help it drive a lot better than it did with the stock springs. And it's gonna be better uh, the other thing that I ended up doing to this was when I first took it out this thing was still on a nickel metal high drive battery I still had the Tamiya plug that came with this ESC it still had the Tamiya plug I ended up putting a Dean's plug a T plug on it so I can run my lipo so on the first run the first video, this thing was actually running on a nickel metal hydride, which as you guys saw, it wasn't going that fast. It did have a little burst when I took it off the trailer, but now it's gonna be on 2S power. So I think that it's gonna be running a lot better with the 2S LiPo on this thing. So what we're gonna do now is with everything that I did on here, 
gonna put a 2S, which is my 5200 uh, Mook battery. I'm gonna throw this into this guy. We're gonna take it out. We're gonna see how better, much better, it is going to run. So let's get out there. Let's check it out and see how it does. Let's go. All right, you guys, so I think it ran a little bit better than it did with the, uh, first of all, nickel metal high drive battery. Uh, the suspension is still bouncy. I'm really not liking that, but I think it's a little bit better than it was before. Um, I'm definitely going to have to look into getting suspension for this thing, like oil fill shocks, which I have oil fill shocks around here somewhere which I might end up putting on here to try to get away try to get rid of all that bounciness so in the meantime right now what I'm gonna do they're not pretty looking but they are <laughs> drift tires we're gonna throw these on we're gonna check it out and see how it does You guys and there it is the bto one and drifting wise eh, nah, it didn't do that great drifting i'll be honest with you drifting it did not do all that great sliding yeah perfectly good at sliding but drifting now um the rear diff is open i did not lock the rear diff because this is not a drift machine it's not it's not a drift machine it's just toy car <laughs> it's just a toy car this is not staying to for drifting uh i am going to be putting these wheels and tires back on this guy because again this is the car that i made to resemble remembrance for my godfather who passed away again tony this one's for you love you miss you Hope to see you again sometime in the far future but again this is for my godfather the wheels that i got right here i will put a link down in the description below where you guys can get this car can get these wheels they are affiliate links these links do help the channel so you know help out the channel click on those links and if you don't order anything they're amazon links so if you guys don't order this specific thing you guys order something off of that link it'll help out the channel help me out so i can bring more content for you guys and hopefully new things for you guys so 
but um this is not a drift chassis there are some other things that i want to do to it i might end up getting a gyro for it to end up trying out some more drifting um definitely needs more power it's very very underpowered to even try to do any drifting at all with it so it's definitely underpowered i will let you guys know that now definitely underpowered and um that's why it didn't really do anything uh the wheels tires that are on here they're just plastic tires pl plastic tires tires they're plastic and Basically, it just makes it like as if the car is running on ice. So it's not all that great, but I still have fun. <laughs> Either way, I still have fun doing it. The car looks great. I love the way the car looks. Again, the car is for my godfather. May he rest in peace. And um, that's all you guys. So if you guys want to pick up this car, I'm going to put a link down in the description below. Hit that affiliate link. If you guys want to get these wheels or any other type of wheels, link in the description below. Uh, merch, we are going to be coming out with merch for you guys. Right now, I just have the hat. I'm getting shirts made. I'm going to be getting shirts made. Not this shirt. This is just a shirt. But I'm going to be getting t-shirts made. Let me know what colors you guys want. Uh, right now, I'm thinking just black, uh, maybe white. I don't know what other colors you guys might end up uh, wanting. So let me know down in the comments below what color shirts you guys are going to want. Hats, I can probably get different color hats also. But let me know down in the comments section below what you guys want. And I can get them made for you guys. So with that being said, you guys hit that like button subscribe i will see you guys in another video keep our seeing have a good one everybody